Has anybody found the IMU calibration setting inside the Autel Explorer app? I haven't either, but in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why. Stick around. Hey, what's going on? It's Hobart. Welcome back to my channel. And today, hopefully, I'm going to answer all your questions about your new Autel Evo 2 and the IMU calibration. First, let's talk about what is an IMU. It's the inertial measurement unit inside your drone. And what it does, I'm not an expert on this, by the way, but what it does is it uses your accelerometer and your gyroscope and other sensors inside of your drone to basically help it understand where it is in space. Uh, is it going straight? Is it upside down? What's left and right? Where's the location? of it, etc. So the IMU is a pretty important part of your drone and calibrating it on other manufacturers is something that we used to do manually. But after posting a video that I put up the other day called seven things you must do before your first flight with your Autel Evo 2, I did get some questions. People were asking why I forgot the IMU calibration portion of the video. And you know, I was curious myself about it. When I was doing the research on the video, I did read a few articles saying that the Autel drones do an IMU calibration when they power up so I didn't think much of it and I moved on and I made the video but when I started getting comments asking the same question I figured it was time to call Autel so that's what I did I called up Taylor at Autel and I told him hey I just posted a video and people are asking why I forgot to put the IMU calibration in there. Do we need to do an IMU calibration when we take it out of the box? And he said, no, you don't. And I said, okay, do we need to do an IMU calibration after software updates? And he said, no, you don't. And I said, okay, when do we need to do IMU calibrations? And he said, the only time that you're gonna need to do an IMU calibration is when you get a warning on your screen or if your Evo 2 starts to fly funny. And I said, okay, sounds good. I left it at that and I went and I posted on Facebook and all the different uh, forums uh, that if you're worried about your IMU calibration out of the box or after software updates, don't worry about it. It's not required. The only time you need to do an IMU calibration is when you have a warning on your screen or if your Evo 2 starts to fly funny per Taylor at Autel. Well, I had a few people comment after that and say, well, why would Autel tell you that? That is like a staple in the drone community. You do an IMU calibration as soon as you get it. You do an IMU calibration after software updates. Why would they tell you that information? So I said, you know what? I'm going to ask. So I called again. And this time I talked to David and I told David what I had talked to Taylor about. And he said that he thought that the Autels do an IMU calibration on startup. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to be probably making a YouTube video on this and I'm going to be posting this for all the different Autel owners to, to see on Facebook. So I need you to be a hundred percent sure, not just think. So he said, totally understand. And he was going to go to the Autel engineers and ask them that specific question. And he told me, call me back tomorrow and I'll have your answer. I said, great. So the following day I called back. This time though, I did not get David. I got Alejandro. So I've talked to everybody there at Autel at this point. And I said, hey, Alejandro, this is what I talked to Taylor about. This is what David said. And I'm calling back to get my answer. And he said, well, I can give you the answer right now. All Autel drones do an IMU uh, calibration and other different calibrations, different sensor calibrations on every power up. And I said, hmm, that's what I had read online, and I just wanted to confirm that. He said, yes. So you don't have to worry about doing an IMU calibration when you take it out of the box or after software updates or anything. It's automatically done on our drones when you power up the device. I said, sweet. He did caution me, though, that if there is a problem with the IMU and you do get a warning on your screen or the Evo starts to fly funny, there is no way for a consumer like us to do a IMU calibration on the Evo 2. OK, so that's what he said. He said at that point, it's most likely a major hardware failure and you're going to need to send that in to us. So I guess the good news is, is we don't have to worry about an IMU calibration on our Autel Evo 2 because it does it every single time it powers up but if there is an issue if you do get a warning I'd get it out of the sky call us right away and we'll take care of it for you but they are gonna have to do the IMU calibration or replacement the end consumer he says has no option in the Autel Explorer app even when the warning comes up on your screen there is no way for us as an end consumer to do the IMU calibration manually 
got to send it to Autel. And the moral of the story is, is that you don't have to do an IMU calibration on your Autel Evo 2 drone because it does it for you automatically. And that is per Taylor, David, and Alejandro at Autel. So I'm going to go with what they say for now and from what some of the articles I read. And I know there are some current Autel and former Autel owners that know that already. But for all of us who are coming over, and there's a lot of us from DJI or Parrot or some of the other drone manufacturers, this is foreign to us. So just wanted to make you feel comfortable. I wanted to make sure I shared this video so that you could feel a little bit better about not doing that IMU calibration or not being able to find that in your Autel Explorer app. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you watching my videos. If you like what I'm doing, hit the like button and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And until next time, my friends, thank you so much for joining me and enjoy flying your Autel Evo 2 knowing that your IMU calibration is done on power up. Have a good day. Thank you so much.